Weaver. Oh, he, he, I think he meant to buy it the, his Sage Pass because the side shop and then bought it at base. But what actually have the Soul Ring? That's a pretty big deal. I think if he had the Iron Shell, he could maybe set up. There's no point in it no, yet. No. One might walk this one off. Forest Strike comes through from Sin, but here comes the Witch Doctor to slow things down again. Sin stunned up in mid one. He turns the fight with the Malik down the Surge up, Sanking, and get him away, but not far enough. Mid one gets your first blood with a whirling death. That Soul Ring misplay, not selling the Sage's Mask in time from the stash back in base. 30 seconds ago. Over towards the mid lane, and Era, he poked his head over the top of that ramp. Here comes the caster, stun from Puppy, catches him, but a nice fire strike from Sin. Turns around to Era now, swipes down MP, one more hit. We'll find the kill, now Puppy might be in trouble as well. Sin has another burst strike up in two seconds time, and I think the, the death of the Slardar. Two more hits, that's quite enough damage there from Cinderin. Nice tower on the only. right. Arnie suddenly comes in with a double kill and keeps himself alive at the same time. Poikva, will you look at that? Kills off Kezu, you were talking about that timing. Poikva's now level 7. He'll be sending Kezu down to the bot lane, putting in and putting Weaver up on the safe lane where perhaps with the help of one support, which comes or maybe even both support, kill off the low through and find some far. Well, Weaver won't have that opportunity apparently because he just absolutely slaughtered. Dindran again, you know, uh, looking at his book. Uh, something we saw originally whenever Dark Sewer was getting really popular, when our um, H H2D had just come out. They sort of saw it, uh, saw it fall off again because. Oh. Almost. Oh, uh, they're actually going in. There's some cooldown. Great turnaround. Mid one. Having to tip a chain away. MP kill. Stick around. Got the swarm and the time lapse. And gets out of the range of Cinder and stun now with a swarm turnaround. Sindrin looks like he's gonna die here, drops to MB. I'm not gonna go in for Bohani hiding away in the team. He's got himself all the brace and 12 stick charges. There's no TP rotations coming in, there's no one to save him. He is left alone to his own devices. In comes one TP, but cancelled immediately as they realize Hani is dead. Not a chance to survive. He's very mobile core is at the Earth. I have a hard time bringing down, especially whenever he only has. This Guardian Angel he's up against as well, which is pretty sickening when you're. If playing at Ursa, might think about the future play for bottom lane. They start in with the crush and Kezu finishes with the purification. Look for more here as Eratiki's in. And King Sindarin looks for the go, but MP time lapses back and away from the tier one. They catch, they kill, they evacuate. Like successfully, Kezu just bounced around and Sindarin. Um, he is going in apparently, I'm not sure why. Shed some insight onto Sindarin's forest strike there. Just turn it back around onto Koikva. Dyer's top tower Good opportunities. Sindarin is 20 gold away from Blink Dagger. The puppy reveals first. Goes in. Two points for Sam. Draw goes. Hell. Hit one. They turn back with the Winter's Curse and they kill off. Uh, the chase continues though. <laughs> Have been disabled. Cancel the TP. Han is gone. He's out. But the rest of NIP might be safe to get away as well. Sindarin completes his TP in error. Any potential. Once he, you know, he's about to buy the plate mail. And that just makes him so tanky with the stacks. He's. You know, 30 yards now, it's so hard for the Oh, good stuff from Sim. Fortunately, Aerith left by and drive by the rest of his team. Maybe Harney thinks about the third one, this curse catches the Weaver, but there's no damage. Aerith's already dead, and Puppy looking for the reboot has blink up in five seconds time, the chain across mid one. Yeah, he's chasing quick, but Tappage Roar is it up? Does he have it? He does on the bear. Himself, of course, oh, and forces nice. Puppy back, so there's no blink initiation out from him. He goes in one. Going on to this blink stun, trying to save his mate, Poik, but kept alive it looks like for now, as Puppy does not get in time. That crush on the Poik, for who starts attacking for the low ground, wants to try and fight this, but the rest of Secret come in, a good vacuum back from Trixie. Keep them at bay, will TP back now, readying himself for this upcoming team fight. Weaver has respawned. We're gonna TP to the tier 3. They use up the spirit bed. He's trying to close one down. The first puppy finds the lone druid. Can it bring him down fast enough though? The Greaves, the heal, the pushback as well. Koikva gets himself to a, an area of safety with the back view back into the wall. They've got the court. The Winter's Curse lands down onto MP, but it's not enough damage to set. Sindra lines up the three man burst strike, but still not killing a single hero. MP time lapses back, and Sindra dead to rights. The chase continues. Where is mid one? Still 
still alive. Half HP, half mana, using up this poor little Ursa. The teddy bear has BKB though. Turns back on MP. That's what drops by Pylai dying to a bit of damage back onto them, but on cares your repel, no fear is there. Back and away is this point. It's getting scrappier and scrappier. Finally, the Diffusal Blade forces the Golden Brace out from Mahani. He couldn't find another. Trixie's walked into the danger zone, though. Era wants to turn and fight this one. Mid one getting shredded, getting destroyed, getting back, back. But the Yules is there. Keeps him alive a little bit longer. Pylai Dying finally can't start with the Guardian Angel. Out from that Omni Knight of Kezu. And this might just be the tipping scales as Trixie dies. And on they go for He's more. Mid one. What's he doing? He's chasing into tier 3, he's into tier 2, Syndra finally stuns him. Ever since, so, well, it's not enough damage. Nowhere near enough damage, and Quakefer chased again behind his towers, and that is NIP absolutely disastrously, disastrously slaughtered. They were chased for a good two minutes there by Secret. It might open up for tier 3. Yeah, I think Q, I mean, I think, um... Is a soak move from NIP even... Point, or are they just going to walk into their own death? Well, may maybe they walk into their own death anyway. Dogs here. Trixie. Surge on cooldown. And that looks like it's going to be the end of him for 50 seconds. He does have buyback though and might be forced to expend it as honey. Oh, hello, puppy. Finds the crush and went to wipe and caught in the trees. Kills. Even that has been taken away from him. He's going to start chipping away at the high ground. He doesn't really care about all this. He talks to Era. Forcing the BKB as well, and that might be a big old red flag for NIP to sit back and just watch their base get destroyed by Secret, but they're going to give it another go. It's one wanders around up on the front lines. Tier 3 still relatively healthy though, but Puppy goes in, good cross, and he comes mid one, there's the first damage point, but he likes himself back, and his epicenter from Syndra does absolutely nothing. He was hiding in the trees, but his blink cancelled or something, but MP kind of laps his back, and Era trying to buy himself a little bit of time there, going in on to mid one, but Puppy misses out, there's Whoa. a vacuum curse, this could be good, they're bringing down someone in the middle there, Puppy dropping low, but healed up, kept alive by Kezu, and MP's repeated out as well, mid one, drop in low, Sun comes through, actually catches him mid timber chain, but in comes Pylai Dai, the death ward's down, catches on to Ira, and there's the cold embrace. Again, things down a little bit, but Ira's dead. The swarm and the MP damage coming out from that Geminate attack, way too much to happen. Yeah, mid one's up in 10 seconds as well, so spots down and they can continue the assault. We'll have buyback on the uh, Sand King, they do have it on the Ursa, but if he uses that, then he's never getting another item. Oh, they pop the Aegis there with a nice vacuum into. Oh, that's time lapse. Brace will pull a halt to this aggression. Uh, or, or maybe not. MP just wants to go in. He just wants to go in some more. Mid one arrives, like you said. It's easy. Pulls this lane. 35 seconds without your Ursa Warrior. And we forfeit here with no glyph up. Yep. Running low on mana a little bit. Though. Yeah, I'm playing a little bit cautious. KZ is very, very low. Well, Hani is dead. Oops, the front take down MP, the good Savage Lord comes out. That damage output, time lapse just in time. He can be out from MP and a Guardian Angel as well. MP drops back. Make sure he doesn't get entangled or anything like that under this tier 3. And mid one. Takes himself, Timber Chains across, and once again, back to safety, they'll go secret. Almost feels like they're under no pressure at all. The bot lane gets cleared through by lane creeps. Good roots. Q quite close able to right click for just the entirety of the fight, so they're not gonna rush things, they're gonna look for the perfect opportunity. Oh, Pylai dying, perfect opportunity to die but, uh, perhaps, but no scepter up. And with a come in from Trixie, looks like they're all finish up with but in the meantime, on the back of the fight, they're looking for that Ursa Warrior, nearly dead, the BKB's up for him. The Swarm, still took it over, but taken out, is hardly chased out by Puppy. Oh, now a 2v1 though, Puppy chased out by Koikpa, but he's moved himself up onto this high ground position, and Puppy finds him, no he doesn't! The BKB from Koikpa there in time, MP, to keep on going in, but Koikpa had that 9 second BKB. Whoa, okay. Oh, Hani dies. Looks like Era might join. <laughs> no BKB has the end range. And there's the GA. The first one at least comes out. The back to the wall. Not going to do a whole lot. Catches Puppy in mid one, but mid one just runs straight on through. GG's cool, and that's it. It's over. Secret take the game. Yeah, and we talked about how with NIP's heroes, they really, really need to get a great lane set up. The uh, Omni Knight got solo killed by Quakefa. Had a really good early start in this laundry, but it doesn't matter so much when the rest of your heroes just really, really are behind.